Hey everyone, welcome back to another exciting tutorial on our YouTube channel. Today, we're diving into the world of JavaScript and creating our own notes app. In this video, we'll walk you through the step-by-step -step process of building a sleek and functional notes app using JavaScript. We'll cover from setting up the HTML structure to adding interactivity with JavaScript Get ready to unleash your coding skills as we explore how to create dynamic note-taking functionality, allowing you to add, edit, and delete notes effortlessly. Plus, we'll add in some CSS magic to make our app appealing. Whether you're a beginner, this tutorial is perfect for anyone looking to enhance their JavaScript skills and create practical application. So, grab your favorite coding tools, subscribe to our channel, and let's dive into the world of JavaScript as we build our own very notes app together. Let's get started. So first, we will create our HTML, and inside our body, we'll have an H1 tag that says a really simple note app. Then we'll save that and create a main tag and give it an input of type text. This would also have an ID of my title and a placeholder that just says something really random. Then we also want to create a text area of an ID that says my text. Now, this would be where we would write our note. Also, in the main tag, we would have a button with an ID of save note. Now, after the main container, we would have a note list div that would contain our notes. Now, we want to remember to link our styles and our scripts. We are done with the HTML, we can move to CSS and give everything box sizing of border box margin of zero and a padding of zero. We want to target the H1 and give it a text outline of center margin top of 10 pixels. Now we want to target the main and give it a display of flex and a direction column and align items center so that we have everything nice and centered like that we want to give it a height of mass content as well now we would target the title so we want to give that a pattern of 5 pixels top and bottom and 10 pixels left and right a margin of 10 pixels top and bottom and 0 left and right for our font size, we would give it 20 pixels to use. We also want to give it a border radius of 5 pixels. Now, we would also give it a border of 1 pixel solid black. We would be targeting the text area now by giving it a padding of 10 pixels on all sides. Then, a margin of 10 pixels top and bottom and zero left and right. We would also give it a font size of 10, 18 pixels. So now it's nice and bold. We can see clearly. Also a border radius of five pixels, then border of one pixel solid black, just like we did with the title. Now we want to start the save note button as well and give it a padding of 10 pixels but top and bottom, 15 pixels left and right. We would give it a cursor of pointer and background color of bluish. Then give it a font size of 16 pixels and a border of none. We want to also give it a border radius of five pixels. Now that is looking beautiful. We can move to our JavaScript by first grabbing our elements. So first we would grab our title. 
using the document query selector then we would just copy and grab order as well then we'll grab our text we also grab our text area our save notes button and grab our note list container now we want to also initialize our notes then after this we would create a window event then add an event listener of load so on load we want to pass in an anonymous function in this we want to have our notes be equal to json the parse local storage item then we want to get item of notes or we want to have it equal to an empty array so now we would loop through when we, when we save notes we want to add an event listener inside it we'll create our note object that would have our title be equal to our title dot value or undefined then contents be x dot value then we would push this to our notes then after this we'll set the local storage item to our notes but then also set our title and text to an empty string when we click on save note we can see it is removed from the screen but if we go to our local storage then inside our storage here we can find our object that we just created now we would create a function to show our notes Inside the function, we'll set our note list in, in HTML to nothing. We also want to loop through our notes using the for each loop. And for each note, we want to create a few elements. So first, we'll create a note container, which is going to be a div. And after that, we will create a bunch of other stuff as well. We'll create a title, which is h3 the content which is a p tag the delete button which is obviously a button the edit button as well and also an actions div now after this we want to want to have a inner html for some stuff so for the title we want to have the inner text be what to denote the title and the content we want to have the inner text be not dot content the delete button inner text be delete the edit button inner text be edit we also want to add some classes to our elements for the note container we want to add the class of notes dot container not dot bar slash port hyphen delete button we would have class list dot add delete button edit button class list dot add edit button and for actions we would have class list dot add actions now that we've done this we want to append so remember to append in the order that you want it to appear on your html that is the actions delete button then edit button then open the title container and actions to show this we would have to append the note container to our note list so there you have it if we save this now and that is it but to show it on our window.load event we want to call our show notes function and also in our save note button well we want to call our show notes function as well so when we save notes we can see it shows on the screen well right now if we click on the delete and edit button it is not doing anything so let's add the functionality for that for our delete button we would add an event listener of click then an anonymous function inside this we want to have our notes be equal to notes.filter then we will say n then we want to return n when n is not equal to note so we would return everything else but when this is not equal to note so 
After this, we want to set our local storage item to notes. Yeah, we want to stringify as we always remember to stringify before you set. Then also call our show notes function. So now if we save our notes and let's say we'll make another one save, we'll save another one and we save. If we click on delete, you can see it actually deletes it and it is removed from the screen. Now we also want to add the edit functionality. For the edit button, we will also add an event listener or click call an anonymous function. Inside this, when we click on edit, edit button, we just want to set my tie to equals dot value equals the note dot tie to so the particular note dot tie to. Then the same thing for the text as well. Then after this, we want to set our notes. We want to remove that particular item using the filter method that we used for the delete and return it. And we also remember to set our local storage item and also call our show notes function. So, and then we also want to focus it as well. So if we save a bunch of stuff, and we save a bunch of stuff. We'll click on edit button. You can see it removes it and adds it to our stuff, our text field. It adds it to our text area and remove it. And we see it works absolutely just as we intended. But it is currently not looking good. So let's style it. First, we want to grab our note list. We want to set the display to flex and flex direction of column. We also want to align items to the center and justify content space between. We want to set the height to mask content and margin of 20 pixel top and bottom, left and right, top and bottom, zero left and right. We want to Add the note container and give it a display flex of flex direction column, align item center, and justify content space between. We also want to give it a margin of 10 pixels top and bottom, 0 left and right, a padding of 15 pixels top and bottom, and 10 pixels left and right a background color. Oh, we also want to give it a border radius of five pixels. We'll give it a mean height of 200 pixels and a width of 80% and a max width of 400 pixels. We also want to style the edit and delete button. So we we'll use the styles we already use for the save note, we we'll just add a comma and add both the delete button and edit button. We can see it as by some styles, but we want to install the delete button separately now. So we would add a margin of right. We add five pixels to it. Also, we change the background color to something different. And there you have it, guys. We have successfully created a really, really simple notes app. Here on Forge, you can add more functionality or you can style it as much as you want. Thank you for watching. This is Deathflow.